Hey Cable Hog fans, those pesky RV refrigerators. I'm going to give you our tips and tricks on how we keep these things nice and cool. Stay tuned. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're, we're the, the Cable Holics. All right, friends, we're back at my RV dry dock here at my residence. I did a little video on this uh, and I posted it on Facebook, but in case you missed it, I went ahead and did one, one produce one right now for uh, our YouTube channel. We've had, and I've seen so many complaints about the RV fridge and how to keep it cool. Now, we watched several videos where somebody even said, you take the black cover off the outside of the fridge It'll circulate more air and try it that way and maybe it'll keep it cool because when the sun's blaring down on you in an open field or something like that you're camping it's hard to keep this thing cool and you know what I'm talking about so I did that I tried the black cover thing took, took the cover, outdoor cover off the back side of the fridge didn't have any success with it did some research uh, got one on the medic website and so forth and so on looking and looking and looking what could we do to keep this thing at temperature especially when you're on propane driving down the road. The temperature always seemed to go up. We've hit sometimes close to 45 degrees on this thing. In a panic, you know, you shove it with ice trying to keep it cool. So, just wanna show you what we've done. A real simple solution that has worked for us. In this camper, right now, it is indoor, 91 degrees in here. 91 in here, outdoors, 89. So it's a little bit hotter in here. I've turned the ceiling fan off to give you an idea so you won't uh, be overwhelmed with the fan noise. Here's the trick. It's 33. The fridge has got a, quite a few items in it. This is the uh, 12 cubic foot fridge, Dometic. The idea is to have a one inch opening whoop, around the sides of this refrigerator. What we did also was take a fan. You want nothing in front of those blades or fins. Took a fan, it's plugged in with a USB device, plugged into an outlet, and that fan blows on the fins, constantly circulating air throughout this refrigerator. And I'm here to tell you folks, we have not had any issues since that. Yeah, it's going up 33, 34, 35 degrees, depending upon the environment outside and how much you have in that. That's another point. You cannot stuff these things full. They need air circulation. It needs a rotation somehow, some way for that air to keep on moving for your refrigerator to stay cool. So that's my tip and trick. Also, keeping ice out of that. We do not store ice in there. And since we have not stored ice cubes in here, because we bought an ice maker, the frost has stayed off the back. Ironic maybe, I'm not sure, but it, uh, it also has worked for us. So we keep ice trays out of the refrigerator, hence the moisture running around in there. And took a little USB fan, primarily for like, uh, a computer at home or a desktop fan plugged it right in here or if you have an outlet close by plug it in close by the cord falls right in there does not keep the refrigerator open and it works for us so again it's 91 in here 33 in that fridge since we've done this it's been a heck of a lot easier keeping that Dometic refrigerator cool so that's our tips and tricks for maintaining your RV fridge, keeping it cool, a nice comfortable temperature for a refrigerator. Remember, one inch, one inch barrier around your items in that fridge, keep that air moving around. It's getting hot in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Please subscribe below, ring the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching this video. Be a campaholic. Every day is once a lifetime. See ya.